Hello and welcome to a quick tour of the main interface for the Mentor License Utility. And I'm going to be working with version 2.1 here. And let's start out by opening the shortcut, which is down in the Mentor Graphics License Utility by default, and then Mentor License Utility shortcut. Now if you don't have that shortcut, you might look for the program down in the C colon slash Mentor Graphics slash Mentor License Utility folder. So here we are in the main interface and to start out you may see one or more environment variables or registry entries up here in the, the top left section of the main white area. And this is informing you that there are some environment variables or registry entries that are currently defined in your environment. In my case I only have MGLS license file system variable set. And this is the default for Mentor Graphics licensing and our recommendation for where you put any paths to license files or port of host values to servers. And let's show you how you can drill into each of these variables to see what's within. So you click the plus sign and then the minus sign to collapse or you can double click to expand collapse or you can even hit the expand all button to expand all the entries and collapse all to collapse all the entries. So let's take a quick look at some of the options available to the different entries. If you click on the actual environment variable or registry entry, there is a right click menu and you have add license file, add ported host and delete variable. Now the add license file option enables you to just set the path to a license file and there we see it added to the path here. Now that's quite simplistic. It, it literally just adds the path to that file. There's no other logic involved. If you're looking for a more intelligent license file installation, then you'd want to click the install license button in the lower right hand corner here. And that will allow you to install dongle drivers and install a mobile compute or even a floating license file and configure the license manager. But if you just need the license file path, then the right click option here will definitely work for you. And there's also an add ported host option. We could point to a license server, for example Starship. Now if this is part of a redundant server configuration, you can click the checkbox here and enter the second and third servers. But in my case it's just a single server. I'll click OK and it adds it to the list there. And the last right click option is the delete variable. I won't actually perform this function, but if you do, it actually deletes the variable itself. And if you want to see other environment variables or registry entries that are not currently displayed in this main menu, you can actually check this box up here to hide and unhide empty environment variables. You can see there's quite a few other options for setting environment variables and registry entries in my environment. But I'm going to go ahead and stick with the default and I'm just going to have it show me only those entries that are currently defined, which is the default MGLS license file variable. So let's go ahead and drill into some of the options for the values within. I can actually double click on a license file and I can take a look at the contents of the license file in Notepad. And I can right click and view edit file is the same as the double click function I just showed you. You can click diagnose to do a quick look into the license file and the version date the host ID and the start and expiration date and other attributes for the licenses. And you can right click and you can move the option down, perhaps one in the list, or you can even move it to another variable. Let's move it to the LM license file system variable. So no longer do we have it in the MGLS license file, now it's down under the LM license file. And right click and we can rename the entry or we could even remove it from the list. We'll go ahead and remove it from the list there and you notice the LM license file variable went away because it no longer has any values and therefore the variable has no need to be set. And if we look at the port at host entries we can double click to perform a status inquiry and it also has right click options. We have a status inquiry, all licenses which is the double click function I just did then and licenses in use which is quite handy to see what licenses are currently in use on the server and all the other right click options are the same ones I just showed you for the license file path. So let's go ahead and save these options and with that it concludes the demonstration. Thank you.